So this is just a quick video to show you how to remove and replace the 12 volt battery in a Renault Zoe. So the tools you'll need is a 10 millimeter ratchet spanner or socket, ideally a socket, but I couldn't locate mine. So a 10 millimeter ratchet spanner does the same job. And you'll need a Torx bit, a T40 Torx bit on a long extension to get to the bolt that holds the battery down at the bottom. So um, either unlock the car or lock the car, it doesn't matter, but leave the car for a good minute or two before you disconnect the battery terminals. Undo the negative here and then disconnect it. Undo the positive bolt here. Then you've got to lift this uh, assembly off the top and it's on these latches here. So you can just pull it with your finger, push down and do the back one and then give this a wiggle. And then you can get that up and push it up out the way. That gets you to your battery. At this point, I always charge the battery separately and test it. This case, I have already charged this overnight on a charger, on a maintenance charger and uh, I then test it. So it's showing 12.61 volts. A couple of minutes ago when I took the charge off, it was showing 13 and a half volt. Um, but we'll then do a, uh, a test, battery test out of the vehicle. It's a regular battery and these um, batteries are 420 EN. It runs a battery test on it and it's saying replace battery. It should be 420 EN and it's actually measuring 319 EN and the state of health is 64%. So uh, yeah, that's why I'm replacing this battery. And I do uh, test and replace um, batteries in Renault Zoe's as I get them in. Uh, to be honest, any Renault Zoe over two, well certainly three years old, always needs a new 12 volt battery. So once you've disconnected the terminals, you can then put a socket down there on the Torx bit, which removes the bracket down there. You can see that bracket down there. You can lift that out, but you can just flick the battery around it. Then the next thing you need to do is get the radiator bottle or reservoir bottle out of the way. To do that, you can remove this little clip here. Um, you can just push the back in. If it's a bit tight, get a screwdriver on it and leave with a pin through, and then you can just remove that. And then the reservoir bottle just slides to the left. And then you can just get it down out of the way a little bit. And that just gives you a bit of room because you have to tilt this battery. And then, a bit difficult doing this one-handed to be honest. There, and then the battery is out. And as you can see there, this is your bracket, holds the battery down, sits in that tray. There is also a drain hole down here, and here is the drain pipe that goes onto the side of the battery. That was actually disconnected. So I would imagine this battery has already been changed um, and uh, they didn't disconnect uh, that back up. That is quite difficult to do. Um, it's very difficult to do actually, but in this case, I also found this was loose. Um, but anyway, so the battery that goes in these Renault Zoe's, as you can see there, 12 volt, 50 amp hour, 420 amps EN. They're not the easiest batteries to find. They're quite a low spec battery. Uh, they're quite small. The battery I use, which is the only battery I can find that meets the Renault battery um, absolutely identical spec, is this one. It's a UASA YBX3012. It is absolutely identical in every way to the Renault battery, the same spec. You can obviously put bigger, uh, well not sorry bigger, you can put better spec batteries in, but uh, I sort of like to match them. So there will be no argument over a warranty claim because this is an identical battery. Um, these from Renault, uh, typically a Renault garage will charge you 120 quid for the battery and the fitting. You can buy these for 51 pounds from a motor factors or off eBay. They do do a, this has got a three year guarantee. They do do a five year model, which is a YBX5, um, slightly higher spec, but this one matches that. So that's what I use 
51 quid all in including VAT and delivery. So to stick the battery in, remove your caps, put them on the old one. New batteries also have this plug on the side, which is your vent plug, which is where you need to reconnect that tube uh, that's up in the car. And uh, connecting it back in is as simple, it's just the reverse process as taking it out, as simple as that. Stick the battery in, put the clamp down at the bottom, stick the radiator back, find the lugs, um, slide it back to the right, put the locking pin in here and then connect your battery terminals up and when you put the positive assembly down just make sure these bars click on the side of the battery. Oh and of course when you put the battery in try to get your drain hose into the side of the battery, that's the most difficult thing. And then when you disconnect, uh, sorry, when you connect your battery terminals up, stick the um, earth on. When you do that, you will find that the uh, pedestrian warning buzzer, which is mounted down here in the bumper, will make a little tone. And the first time you do it, it will make you jump because usually your head is down here when you're connecting it all up and this makes quite a lot of noise. So just be aware, it will just make a tone for a split second. Um, but yeah, the first time it does that, it does make you jump. They don't always do it, but often as you put that terminal down, it will just then uh, make that hum. And that's about it, job done. I forgot to add, it's always worth charging your new 12 volt battery before you fit it in the car. This is because new batteries aren't fully charged. They kept at a lesser amount uh, because it helps when you're storing them for long periods because they obviously sit on shelves for many months before they're sold. So plug it into a external 12 volt charger for 24 hours before you fit it into the car or at least the night before, brings it back up to 100%. Also, the Zoe charger has a habit of not bringing these to 100% while they're in the vehicle anyway. So it's great if you can charge this before you fit it. And then that will be good for um, typically around three years, but anything from two years to four years. Um, and as I said, if you've got a tester, it's worth testing your battery, uh, particularly as you come into the winter season. And uh, it's also worth every now and then taking disconnecting it from the car and if you've got a maintenance charger stick the charger on that and bring this back up and it would also improve the life of the battery. Many maintenance chargers have a reconditioned mode on it and uh, it will improve the state of health of your battery. Uh, depends how cold your winter climates are but if you're in a cold area or you're in a cold winter it is it is worth sticking this on a charger for uh, 24 hours or 48 hours and uh, give this a little boost and you'll find the battery will last you a bit longer.